Hi, so recently we started a Fund My Cause campaign to raise funds to buy a thermal drone to help Mark and Mick out with their quest in South Australia and also obviously to help me out later on with it uh, in Tasmania. So we've had a good look at all of the licensing and the ongoing company costs that are involved. Um, not only that, just the time it will take to become legal and have a drone pilot's license to run a thermal drone. We've decided to change tack. We are now going to raise funds to purchase two XG35 Pulsar uh, handheld monoculars that are thermal. They're about $4,000 each. Um, so that's about $8,000 for those. Plus we want to get Mick and Mark a drone anyway just so they can search their area a bit more thoroughly. That's about two and a half thousand. Um, and then we'll get a few more extra trail cams. So instead of um, looking to raise 16,000, we're only trying to raise 14,000. Anybody who's not happy with the change of our approach is more than welcome to ask for their money back that's donated, got no problem with that. But we will be looking to raise around $14,000 for the purchase of two thermal handheld monoculars uh, plus one normal drone, which is about two and a half grand for the drone we want to get. Um, and um, hopefully we can get the evidence we need to get this over the line by doing so and get some very clear definitive footage of what we believe to be thylacines roaming South Australia and also in northeast Tasmania. So get on board, the links will be in the uh, comments below. Um, you can check out the Axiom, it's a great little unit and it's very very accurate at long distance. Uh, you can quite clearly identify different animals with it very well. So um, I think it might be the technology that's going to be best um, serving our purpose which is to prove thylacine still exists and it will also be um, something that's quite handy to use you know at the drop of a hat because it fits in your pocket basically it's like a small video camera um, but it's got all of that thermal technology in it which gives very very clear thermal images at night so that's what we're after hopefully you can give us a hand and come on board and help us out and we can get this over the line cheers